<laughs> this even contradicts the uh, Warren's own story about the doll, that it was supposed to be a Raggedy Ann doll, not some doll made by a doll maker. Oh, look, <laughs> we could tell it's the 70s because they have a shitty 70s van thing. Oh, person with leg problem trope. Creepy big mansion house trope. Oh, look, it's the conjuring again. Oh, wait, no, that, it looks like the same house. Oh, don't, don't go in that locked door trope because there's things in there that I don't want you to know until later on when the plot requires it. Oh, she's gonna open the door. In here, a... Oh, it's the hole. Hey, we hear a child's song that's now gonna be demonic. Can you help me? What are your knees? Stupid ass jump scare. James Wan, the guy that used to make decent movies like the Saw Trilogy until he started being a religious nut job like Lorraine Warren. It's been dead for a very long time. Lights out, a garbage film. Oh. Another fake jump scare bullshit. To see our beloved girl again. The contact started small. Oh, I'm so scared. Not more shitty shot scenes. I'm gonna open a note. And look at it, trope. He said yes. Oh, opening the creaking door, trope. Light's gonna go out, trope. Hey, maybe I can turn on my flashlight. Oh look, the doll's rocking back and back and forth in trope. So there must be something in there, trope. Oh, demonic possession trope. This August, another shitty film comes out. Oh, run in the broad daylight trope. Yeah, um, nothing can prepare you for this garbage made film. For the next chapter and shit. It's the doll. Garbage. Oh, the Jesus is the only one that can save us, trope. We're gonna use a cross because we're gonna try to defeat the devil with cross and, you know, bullshit even though Annabelle doll is plagiarism. Yeah, you heard me right. The whole entire Annabelle story is plagiarism. Let's get to that. Hello everybody, I'm Mordecai Lacrosse. This is New Revolution TV, revolutionize your life. And that's right, you heard it right. The entire concept of Annabelle is plagiarized. I mean, not only the fact that it's not real or anything like that, and it's completely made up by the Warrens, and there's no corroborating evidence outside of what the Warrens say that proves anything that they say about the Annabelle doll is true. And I wrote a blog about this recently, which I'll leave in the description bar below. So check that out and click on the link to my blog where I actually discuss this. But the thing is, is that... There was an episode of Twilight Zone called Living Doll, which aired November 1st, 1963. There's this character in the episode that buys her daughter a talking doll called Talking T Talkie, uh, Tina, and the character that buys her um, daughter the doll is named Annabelle. Yes, the main character who buys the Talking Tina, his name is Annabelle. Coincidence? No. No such thing as coincidences, people. This episode originally aired November 1st, 1963. The Warrens didn't have their doll until 1970. And in 1906, there was Robert the Doll. And I'll leave a link to a uh, page that actually talks about Robert the Doll. But let's just review a little bit so far of what I've said. See... The thing is, is the Warrens have proven to be frauds in the past. In fact, in a previous video, which will also be in the description bar below, I talked about how the Warrens lied about the Conjuring and made everything up, including the experiences that the people supposedly had. All made up. But let's check this out. So Texas State University... Assistant Professor of Religious Studies Joseph Laycock says most skeptics have dismissed the Warren's Museum as a full off-the-shelf Halloween junk dolls and toys and books you could buy at any bookstore or Halloween shop. Laycock calls the animal legend an interesting case study in the relationship between pop culture and paranormal folklore and speculates that the demon demonic dole trope popularized by films such as Child's Play, Dolly Dearest, and The Conjuring likely emerged from early legends surrounding Robert the Doll, <clears throat> as well as a Twilight Zone episode entitled Living Doll. 
Laycock suggests that the idea of demonically possessed dolls allow modern demonologists to find supernatural evil in the most banal and domestic of places. Commenting on publicity for the Warren's Occult Museum coinciding with the film release of The Conjuring, science writer Sharon A. Hill said that many of the myths and legends surrounding the Warrens have seemingly been of their own doing, and that people have difficulty separating the Warrens from their Hollywood portrayal. Hill criticized sensational press coverage of the Warrens Occult Museum and its Annabelle doll. She said, like real-life Ed Warren, real-life Annabelle is actually far less impressive. Of the supernatural claims made about by Annabelle by Ed Warren, Hill s said, we have nothing but Ed's word for this and also for the history and origins of the objects in this museum. In other words, there is no evidence outside of outside of anything that the Warrens say and their bullshit fictional paranormal society. There's no evidence outside of the bullshit that they themselves write and their minions write that proves that any of the incidences in there is all these movies coming out, including the trailer... <clears throat> Of the, <coughs> the trailer for the movie that came out this year, this month, there's no evidence to prove that any of that happened. In fact, far quite the opposite. For instance, in their Conjuring 2, the infill poltergeist incident that they were not even involved in in the first fucking place. In other words, the Warrens are a bunch of fucking liars. In other words, if we were in a court case, they would have just committed perjury. In conclusion, <clears throat> sorry, I got a call. In conclusion, the Warrens have been known to be liars. The Warrens lied about the whole incident. The Warrens made up the whole Annabelle story. That's all they do is lie. In fact, a lot of the Warrens' lies seem to be centered around the concept of a supernatural witch, which don't exist. But that doesn't stop Lorraine Warren from. Po pointing accusations at neo-pagan religions saying that they secretly worship the devil and it's not like we haven't heard that bullshit before right everybody has heard that garbage before the point is mm, that the Warrens made up the Annabelle story never happened there was no possessed raggedy Ann doll and honestly, if I wasn't blocked, yes, I'm blocked by them on Twitter, by Lorraine Warren, that is, I'm blocked on from her Facebook page because I told her to prove that I was wrong in anything I said in the video, and instead of a intricate response, she just blocked me. Because when you're confronted with information and facts, you just turn away I guess when you're having nothing but myths and fictional realities that you've created with your alternative facts but the point is if I could I would go and take that doll and then send it to the moon just for shits and giggles that way like 20 years from now and there's like people that land on the moon and they believe that The Conjuring and Annabelle are facts because Hollywood's portrayed it as such, that they freak the fuck out. Until next time, I'm Mordecai LaCrosse. Stay wicked.